Hello, I'm Ben. Now today I'm going to do the ESC calibrations for the motor ESC. Okay, you can see here is the tail pusher. This is the four plus one tail pusher. This is the ESC. This is the tail ESC for the tail motor. Now uh, here's the battery, the flash controller, and the current sensor. Current sensor. Here is the output. Output to ESC and input, input from the battery. Now here is the remote controller. What I use is the right throttle. Now this is the throttle. This is the rudder. Okay. Now here uh, ESC should be disconnected, should be disconnected with the battery. Okay. Now here we're, what we're going to do is to power all Power on the remote controller, and then connecting the battery to the current sensor. Now wait for seconds. Now here, ESC should be disconnected. Disconnected. Okay. The next steps, uh, we are going to do the, some settings on the uh, mission planner. The what I use is QGC on the smartphone. Now this is a QGC on smartphone. Now first we have to switch the flight mode. Quad plane stabilize flight mode. Fair for flight mode. Now do the ES tail push the ESC calibrations. Flight mode should be FBWA or manual. Check. <clears throat> now here goes to army. Army check. Army check. Uh, don't snag to compass. Don't snag to GPS. And don't snag. Pre arm. Airspeed not healthy. Oh, airspeed. Don't snag. To, okay. Safe. Armed. Okay, it's armed. Now you push the rudder to the right end, and it will be armed for seconds. Now here you can see the flight controller, the LED changes. It means the flight controller armed. Now here you can see this is the throttle, throttle stick, throttle stick to the to the bottom. Okay, let's push it to the top. Push it to the top. And then connect the ESC to the output, power output. Now when you hear the DD, you uh, pull the throttle stick to the bottom. It means the ESC calibration completed. Now here you can see. Push throttle. Okay. Now it means the ESC calibration successful. Now next step is to do the ESC calibrations for the quad, the quad motor. Okay, let's do the ESC calibrations for the quad motor. The quad motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. The quad motor four ESC do the calibrations only one time, one time together for four motors. Now this is the four plus one, and here is this is the tilt rotor, the tilt rotor quad motor and the four plus one quad motor. The calibration is exactly the same for the 4 plus 1 and tilt rotor. Now here you see this is the tail push ESC disconnected. And here is the quad motor ESC, 4 ESC in parallel. And this flat controller, flat controller, 
charge sensor. This is the battery. And uh, here is the remote controller. Now, first thing uh, we have to do is to power our power the remote controller. And then Carriage sensor input connected. Okay, you can see the flight controller power out. But the ESC, the quad mode ES4 ESC should be disconnected. Disconnected. Now the next step is to go to the mesh pattern or QGC on the smartphone. Cut play stabilize flight mode. Now here is the remote controller, this is the starter, and here is the rudder, okay. rudder to the right. You and see, the LED changes, it means I'm successful. Now the flight controller is armed, uh, it's time to push the starter the top. Then next step is to connect the quad motor ESC, 4 ESC imperial to the output. Now you hear DD, then the pull the throttle to the bottom. It means calibration uh, successful. Now let's, let's see is it successful? And push the throttle. Okay. You can see the four motors all running. It means uh, calibration successfully. Okay, the quad motor ESC calibration successfully. 